Uh, not right now, but <laughs> give me time. Not right now. <laughs> <laughs> give me time. I just seen that it was a manganese mine at one point, and uh, an artist named Aware came out here and did the Wheel of Misfortune in 2012. I Anybody want to be? <laughs> yes, I totally. Cops actually come out here. We're all here early because of you. I know, right? Oh yeah. I had to wait for. I had to wait. Yeah, yeah. I understand now. Like, what's up? We were just talking about you. Like, we're all here early because of Todd. Where's Todd? Anyone that doesn't make it to the gap loses their quad today. Yeah, that's a great challenge. It's a good. Hey guys, so we're here with Wiz. He's kind of like the guru of um, FPV in Las Vegas. What's up, guys? Uh, what is what is FPV? FPV is uh, an acronym for a first-person view. It's what we use to describe how we fly our drones. Quads. You can see through yeah. the goggles. What we got here is the television camera on the front of our drone that goes to a video transmitter out through a set of antennas that puts a video feed back to a set of goggles where we can view whatever the drone is viewing. Uh, yeah, so the goggles, the goggles are showing what the camera shows on the drone. Exactly. A uh, small little latency, but not enough to affect any of your flying. So basically what it does is putting these goggles on kind of puts you in the front seat of the drone. So you are seeing exactly what the drone's seeing. It's, it's closest thing to being like feeling like a bird, right? Yeah. You literally absolutely. feel like you're in a bird or a helicopter or a plane, but you're in the you're in the cockpit. And especially when you fly by yourself and see yourself, <laughs> it's an literally an out of body experience. All right, question: What's the difference between these type of drones and like the GPS, the Mavics, the Phantoms, the Inspires? Uh, the ones that we fly, we build them ourselves. Uh, and the other ones have GPS, uh, auto level, return to home, all that stuff. You can put stuff like that on these, but the ones, the way that we fly, we generally use uh, um, uh, hardware where you are completely in control of the quad. It doesn't fly itself. You take off and fly it out there. You have to fly it back to yourself. It's complete manual, meaning if you let go of the sticks, this thing will fall out of the air. Yeah. Whereas like, the Phantoms and that, let go of the sticks, GPS holds it in one spot. 
you kind of relax, you don't have to worry about so much. The, um, the learning curve for this is a lot steeper, right? Yeah, that's why they have sims that you can plug, plug a controller into. I'd suggest one that you are going to use when you're really flying. You plug them into simulators, you fly around, you crash a million <laughs> times and it's nothing but a reset button. Yeah. Last question, why are these so much more fun and cooler than GPS DJI drones? Uh, first of all, uh, you're not going to be able to power loop a tree or a building <laughs> or anything with power loop the DJI. Is, like literally doing a backflip <laughs> over an object. I would like to, yeah, the DJI drones, they're going to barrel roll, they're not going to go diving down towers, they're not going to these you know, things are moving 50 to 80 miles an hour, yeah. if potentially. Yeah. Ability to fly backwards, ability to dive, loop, barrel roll. All right. Uh, do anything that your mind can literally think right. of, right? Barely nicked the prop. Yeah. That was nice. Can I play the game? <laughs> nope. Nope. Alright, so for punching the, um, what, what do we call it? The Hall of Misfortune? You yeah. win a Wiz FPV shirt. Nice. Yeah, that was really nice. Congratulations. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's windy. <laughs> <laughs> and like to get some ball bag support here for this one. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs>